So Danny Dawson, you know I'm not gonna ask you how you are because all my old friends, I don't ask them no more questions about how they are. This is just job, just blah, blah, blah. If I don't even like to get emails from people, I, I dread opening emails in South Africa, you know, like that. I do. I stop. There's certain friends I don't open their email. Oh. I don't answer their calls either because they only call when somebody dies. You know? Oh, that's what I'm saying, man. But, but let's, let, let's offer that. In fact, since I mentioned South Africa, that's why I'm here. Mm -hmm. There's a thing, uh, let me just lay it out for you. Uh, I started a little community house. Uh, basically, it's a, it's a house, little house. And, and um, this is a small, small house. You know, in fact, we're, I'm in the Eastern Cape now in a place called Dimbaza. Uh, and uh, it's a, a little ways up from uh, where Steve Biko was famous for, well, mm -hmm. not famous for, but, you know, up from King Williamstown. Well, Greensburg is where he is, from his grave, and, and the institute is down there. But um, uh, but but Dimbaza, in fact, it's, it's such a small, it's an RDB house. It's so small. We, even, we have an outhouse, you know, that's how I live down there, you know. Um, and I started a little community center, and, um, and you know I'm, I'm I'm designing it and everything like that. But one of the things we want to accomplish because we we grow stuff, you know. What I mean, in fact, in that house we have like nine plots around that house, and then over in the village prop we got like a football field of of, of soil, mm -hmm. you know. And the soil is so rich there in that area; it's unbelievable. Are those plots shared by each other. No, no, we, I, I control all those plots, you know, okay. but, but it's a community. Well, let me put it this way. Um, the guy that I work with, my, I don't know, my, uh, what do I call that's a uh, I guess Mr. Coley is like a, just a guy. He, he sort of shadowed me for like three years. And then he basically is me like when I was young, but like, you know, 10 times worse, if you want to put it that way, you know, more knowledgeable is it, it, his policy, everything like that. So uh, I fact I call him my landlord. So he's my lord, you know. Um, so I, anyway, so so he's like um, that's what he is, um, and we would deal with the community, you know, crime, everything like that. He's an extraordinary young man. Uh, anyway, one of the things we want to do. See, here's the thing. I'm sorry to be so long about this this introduction, but but it's important. You know, I grew up in a city, and one of the things uh, I grew up in the Cadet Corps, and we had a thing called Pennant. Well, we do have a thing called Pennant Scroll. Fraternity was well, organization of a Pentagon military fraternity is what I, my fraternity, and now I placed in my fraternity. When I was fifteen years old, you know, so I made my fraternity when I was fifteen, right? No, I guess no, sixteen, sixteen, no, no, um, whatever. No, when fifteen, right? Now, as you know, fraternities as they develop in, in in the states, you know, you had your initiation in Africa, and we don't have those kind of initiations anymore for young people, right? And so. Um, what what really happens is the, the Greek fraternities claim that they whatever they do, but it's but you know they're just whatever they are. But the point is that uh, in in South Africa, they 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 have initiation now, but they also were younger. But now they move well. Now they're like it'd be eighteen, nineteen, twenty. You know, and that's where they they cut the foreskin and all the rest of that stuff. Right? But of course, the fraternity that we have. Yeah, yeah. That's that, that, I'm glad you brought brought that up. That has developed to that. In fact, they don't even do traditional beer. Well, like they have it there, but you know they do the Hennessy like that. But it's like, yeah, you're right. It's too, it's too late. Mm -hmm. What I realized in Cadet Corps because my fraternity, because we, it's like an initiation course, the Burning Standard with that stuff. Then you know we were trained to be men at at a, at a young enough age. As soon as you get your dog water, you should be in some sort of initiation. You see what I'm saying? So what we're trying to do, so if we can't change that culture, but what we're trying to do is catch the, the, the kids when they're like a, 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 a 13, 14, 15, right? And do everything but the initiation, you see? Mm -hmm. So what I wanted to know from you, and you almost answered the question already, and you can just talk as long as you want. You know initiation practices all over the world. I know you do. Tell me about this. Tell me about initiation, what it's supposed to be, and, and, and am, I, am I on the right path of, of, of doing what I'm doing? Yeah, but I think the initiations are built into the culture too. Mm -hmm. But basically, they're an introduction to adulthood. Mm -hmm. You know, I know adulthood starts at different ages with different cultures. Mm -hmm. You know, but there's a group here that tried to do that also. You know, Ifa Tayo? No, I don't know. It's a, it's a group that's in Brooklyn, but they also were using Congolese ideas and other African ideas about initiation. You know, but they were working with Congolese mentors. You know, okay, so okay. They, weren't, they weren't just making it up. They were, you know, they were, they were actually doing it that way. And they also, every year, would take the. Um, their student body, the kids to Africa, this, or mm -hmm. to the Caribbean, or to Brazil, and mm -hmm. study the initiations there, whether it's an initiation in Condomble or into some other religious form. Mm -hmm. So they were serious about doing it. They're still doing it, you know. Mm -hmm. so. 
I think they'd be nice people to interview about that too. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm, I'm not going to be here that that, that long. Well, mm -hmm. we'll see, but but yes, that was that's exactly what I'm talking about. But again, we don't want to change the culture. We just want to, you know, they can still have their initiation through the culture, but mm -hmm. we want to catch them early enough for some other principles of manhood. Because when they right. do it now, they just all they just it's it's wanting to put a close. It's just a closer culture down there, you know. But continued. Um, and so that's what they're doing in New York. Just tell me about other initiation practices around the world, or you know. Well, you know, you know it depends because they're so. Um, uh, culture specific, mm. you know. So it's like when you say initiation, like in Brazil, you know, it depends what, what you're talking about, mm. because you're talking about traditions that maybe are like a tradition, a Christian tradition might be an initiation, you know. But if you meaning specifically into African ideas, yes, of course, these are Africans but, we're dealing with. Yeah, but, it, would, but, yeah. it would be things like candomblé, arumbanda, you know, and mm. it's not age specific. It's called it's cause specific. It's because the divination has said that you need it, that you need to do that. You know, so so you, you're, you're called to do it, you say? You're called to do it, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know. mm -hmm. But there's still other forms of initiation. When the Catholic Church serves as one of them, too. You know, I, I mean, it's been Africanized in their way they, they treat Catholicism. Which is quite different than the way the the Pope teaches it. You, you know, mean when we go through uh, when we go through the the uh, the uh, what do you call it catechism and all the rest of that stuff? Not, no, not just the catechism, but when you're baptized too. Baptized, oh, okay, okay, baptized but that is initiation too. And it's yeah. you know, and I think the forms of initiation you have in the United States are very much based on African baptism forms, at least in the mm -hmm. Black Church, you know, mm -hmm. because the, the the things they stress are totally different, and the things they impart aren't what you get normally in baptisms in in Christianity. Mm -hmm. You're getting African ideas about how you're a good citizen, mm. you know what you're supposed to do, you know, with a group, you know, how you're supposed to support your community, you know, which is, and that your responsibility as a community member. That's not coming out of a Christian tradition. That's coming out of an African tradition that's using Christian baptism as a way of initiation. Mm -hmm. you know? Well, I guess I'm, 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 see the thing. Okay, we're not doing the spiritual thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But. Uh, to tell you the truth, they, they do have traditions, you know, like that. But but a lot of young people, but some of the young people are really going wanting to go back to that, mm -hmm. you know. But a lot of the young people, they, we, we've been so uh, uh, TVized. Right. I'm going to call it TVized. Okay. Um, uh, that, you know, you, everything is so commercial and everything like that. It just. But it's not just commercial, it's just our models all come mm -hmm. out of TV. Yeah, exactly. The screen. They don't yeah. necessarily come out of direct experience, you know. Yeah. So. In fact, I shouldn't even say TV these days since it's the cell phone. It's like everything comes out of the screens. Mm -hmm. the, and so, so they, they, they've been screened, you know, in a very uh, detrimental way. Uh, and because the the values, I guess initiation to me means the values that that you get at a, such a young age that 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 it takes hold sure. and and and, and pull, pulls you through. Yeah. So I use that word again. They're formative. Mm -hmm. and the things that prepare you to be an adult in your society too. Mm -hmm. Well, but see, the other thing is that because we're screened. We have to be adults in the world society, in the global society. Now, yeah. it, it's not enough because you can be an, initiate in, in your in your culture, in your say village or your location. But then, when you move to the big city, boo, you know, or or you start. Yeah, but those things should also give you values that function in whatever environment you go into. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the problems is too like we have initiations too. One of them is gang culture. Of course, yes. You know, you're initiated, but again, you develop a community with responsibilities and with senses of what what um. A commitment to the community means. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. Community might be young criminals, but it is it is it is initiation into that. Initiation may well be severe too. I mean, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. you might have to hurt somebody or, or to rob a certain kind of person for you to be initiated. You know, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, so but that's part of the degeneration of what initiation is. I think in, in a kind of oppressive society, but well, we st we still have it. You know? mm -hmm. Well, could it be now? Okay, let's talk. Let's just talk spirituality, religion for mm -hmm. just a second. You know, but there's many scholars that I. I think many scholars have basically said we, there may have been a, um, a, a a religious practice, and then and then it started to splinter out. So all these religions that we have today are just are merely factions or cults of 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 a, of a main thing that that happened. Mm -hmm. Is the, I guess we I'm asking is is this the same thing with initiation? I guess it's the same thing. Everything maybe yeah. everything in the modern world is like splintered. We're no longer we know we are we on a mission to try to get back to a source. That's that's my question, I guess. Are we should we be on as as global citizens? Should we be on a mission to get back to a source? I don't know. I think it's a more a mission to find a more valid path. Hmm. You know, to find out a thing that functions for us. Hmm. Yeah, you know, because going back does not necessarily mean you know, it functions for us in this age. 
Okay. But it's, try, it's trying to find what, what is a valid uh, set of practices for us in this day and age, mm -hmm. not to give up kind of humane values either. You know, mm -hmm. so, and not to accept anything the West has to offer us as though it's, it's valid just because it has power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, this. okay, that brings up another thing to mind. You know, I, I exist in what I call the third infinity. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, um, you know, there's an infinite future, which, you know, you, you can't really deal with that because ah, nobody knows. There's an infinite past mm -hmm. that, that people, that historians and all kind of, or everybody studies that. But the problem is if you go some, into that infinite past, you, your, your economy, in other words, your time, your whatever have you, is so far into that that you, your, your present is informed by that, maybe, mm -hmm. you know, but you really should be, let me put it this way, you should be maybe, I'm just making up numbers now, you maybe should be 70% in the infinite now, or rather, yeah, in, in, in my call, the infinite third, the, the, the third infinite or the infinite now, and then you take the other 35% to be studying the past to inform well, that like, thing. Like, like, like another way of looking at Sankofa. Oh, tell me about it. You know, Sankofa, the Ghanaian. The, oh, the, the look back to. Yeah, the, the bird that looks back, but look back to the past for developing the future. Because I think there is no way of, of um, understanding or even um, functioning in the future without understanding the past, without a really clear understanding of your foundation in the past. Yeah, you know, not that not, not that we have to um, like slavishly um, emulate the past, mm -hmm. because there's, there's certain kind of creative adjustments we have to make for our, our contemporary mm -hmm. living style. Mm -hmm. I guess that's that's exactly my my, my point. Uh, if we spend if you spend so much time. Uh, I have people, you have people that, that keep on talking about this and that, and they're not applying this stuff. They, We don't apply, a lot. I'm sorry, I said we. A lot of people don't apply that past knowledge to the present. Mm -hmm. Let me give you an example. That I like to give this example, right? Now, you know, the the the, the, the book of Coming Forth Day and Night, you know, the mm -hmm. whole Egyptian thing. And then you have the, the uh, what is it, 22 whatever uh, negative confessions, whatever mm -hmm. they call it, the, the, the confessions. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they're not negative confessions. They, you, you, you'll go and you'll say, it's like, um, have you, you know, uh, stolen from the king today? No, I mean, I have, did not. I did, did not. Yeah. Did not. So, so your answer is, but, but here's the trick. When you, it, say for instance, my, if I was to apply that to the modern world, mm -hmm. what I would do, i say, okay, you, do you have a, you, you have a six-year-old niece? Okay, fine. Every, not every night, but every few nights, when you come home, she has to ask you a, a, some sections of that, you know? So if you know, and, and, and one of the things is, have you lied to, have you lied today? Right. The, now you can, you can say, I have, or you can say, I have stolen today. But if you're out there in the world and you know that your six-year-old is going to ask, your six-year-old niece or, you know, nephew is going to ask you that question, then you, you would think twice about doing that, mm -hmm. that negative thing, you see? And I think that's more effective than this whole, uh, 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 you sh thou shalt not, that shalt not. That's, I guess that's my point I'm trying to make, that, mm -hmm. that you should, that that's a way of applying well, that thing to saying, the... You're saying that the methodology is archaic. Uh, a way of using it, but not the information. The information is still valid. We still want to conduct ourselves that way. You know, we don't want to lie and steal and cheat and kill. You mm -hmm. know, so. mm -hmm. But there's no way to, that's my point. There's no way, we have to, look, the way people are, we have to apply it some way. Look, I have this thing that says, um, uh, let me do it to white people. White people want to be right and not righted. Okay? Mm -hmm. Black people uh, don't want to be, uh, don't want to be wrong or wronged, they don't want black people. Don't want to be wrong or you wrong. Black people on the planet, or black people here. Yeah. Ah, okay, it doesn't matter. On the planet, it doesn't matter because okay. I was just on the bus, you know. And there was this sister, this Beyonce braided looking sister, talking to this old, old, older guy. When I say older guy, he must have been in his forties, right? And they argue, and she said, "You got to cover your mouth." And she's going to this whole thing, and then when she gets off the bus, she says, "You know, that's what's wrong with black. Black man is blah 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 blah." Well, that's what I'm trying to say. Neither one of them will. Uh, don't want to be righted because she was trying to write him in a very bad way. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, cover your mouth when you cough, you know. And then he started beefing because he don't want to, because uh, he don't yeah. want to be wrong, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that whole thing. So, um, yeah, but you know, you have to look at it. But we were told one day in Brazil, this woman, Yelma Machado, we were just talking to her about Afro Brazilian culture. Mm -hmm. She said, when you look at African Brazilian culture, you have to uh, not confuse two issues. Mm. There's Afro African culture in Brazil and there's slave culture in Brazil. Mm. Don't confuse slave culture with African culture mm. because it's both black people doing it. Both. But one is the, a kind of negative um, result of oppression. Mm -hmm. And the other one is a continuation of, of kind of positive attributes of culture mm. we brought from Africa. Mm. You know, so, so you're looking at slave culture, thinking of it as right. black people, you know. Mm -hmm. 
Not black people, it's just these people, all, all people who have been conditioned like that, too. I guess there's gradations, too, because when I'm, you know, I live in South Africa, mm -hmm. and what happens, they've been through apartheid, so they have a certain amount, well, say colonialism, they have a certain amount of things, but it's not as severe as ours. So, so consequently, yeah, when I... What, mean it's not severe, they're still living it. No, no, what, what I'm saying is not severe as ours. Mm -hmm. I mean, our, our, our uh, lineage, our, our, how do you say, uh, memory is somehow that's, that the kind of chattel slave we had. But I'm trying to say, I'm more comfortable in that, not, not more comfortable, but um, I feel less uh, um, yeah, but, put upon than, than here. That's, that's what I'm, mm -hmm. that's, I'm trying to put. Go ahead, tell me what you're going to no, say. No, because I think the problem is, is the nature of the enslavement. Mm -hmm. We were both that's enslaved. Yes, enslaved yes, yes, yes. in yes. South Africa here, you know, yeah. it became the mind system. It became, mm -hmm. you know, the um, uh, town uh, system where you have, to, you have to have a certain place you can come from. And if you can't, you can't leave there unless you have a pass. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that's slavery. Mm -hmm. You know, they didn't call it slavery, they didn't call it, you know, the way they hired people, bringing them in from all over to work the mine. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that is still slavery. They, they, they didn't use that term for it. It's not chattel slavery, mm -hmm. because people could leave it, but it, but it, it is still slavery, you know. Well, you know, they, they, they had that Ka Kaepernick, Avery DuVernay thing, and he said, you know, um, the NFL or whatever is slavery. And mm -hmm. I said, you know, they, they, it's really not, for me, it's not slavery, it's indentured servitude. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a difference. But if There's you're not, a if relationship you, of that's right. But, but, but my point is, if it's not precise in this thing, because this language, if it's not precise, then you get all, you'll get all confused, as Mr. Neil Bullard Jr. would say. You, well, we the got, confusion right is right. Now. Yeah, I mean, just like when uh, right now when when they have the, the new slaves, the when when he when you have these um, uh, immigrant populations coming in and and getting all kinds of benefits, and then the the the, the former slaves, if you want to former enslaved, are feeling some way about that. Well, how can you give them more when we did, 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 did you know that that argument yeah, is happening right now? They're still looking at a system of white supremacy mm -hmm. and a hierarchy, you know, um, imposed and, and controlled and created by white supremacists. Right. And that's an international international philosophy, mm. you know. So when people come in, it's, it's they come in, and one of the reasons they're let in is so they can do that. Yeah, you know, United States needs you know Africans or black people at the bottom. Mm. It needs them for sure. their own kind of self realization. So any of them, they will use people from Latin America, people from India, people from uh, new immigrants who might mm. be black, mm. as long as they buy into that system. Mm. You know, what's name talks about that too. Um, uh, Vijay Prashad. He did a book called The Karma of Brown Folk. Mm. And he's talking about the, the debt that basically Asians coming to the United States have to Af have to African Americans. Mm -hmm. Because at some point you realize the system is con is uh, corrupt and constructed mm -hmm. as that. It's constructed to keep black people in the bottom. And either you go with it or you react to it mm. and, and, and react against it, you know. Mm. Well, it's just not invisible, you, you know. You see young black kids getting stopped in the street for nothing and then the police beating them half to death. You know, you know mm -hmm. whether whether you think you can evade that is whether you know it depends on how you behave too. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. I guess I have to throw this last. It's maybe complicated. Like I mentioned, Mr. Neil Fuller Jr. Because mm -hmm. uh, let me put that in this this house that we call it the the, the Lajote House, mm -hmm. Lajote Hut House, right? It's a it's a it's a thing. It's a it's almost like a think tank, you know. Mm -hmm. And can you, can you speak closer? Well, I, I understand it, but I don't have, you know, when I'm in Brazil, you understand, I don't have language facility. I just don't, you know what I mean? No, but again, that, well, how many different, 11 clicks? Yeah, well, oh, there, oh, it, it's funny because the, the closest, the, the closest, there's, there's three different clicks really for okay. the closer, but, but, but the Sean people, my, my, my wife is descendant of a Sean and, and, and whatever, uh -huh. they, they clicked up. The closest can't hit, understand the, the real, the, oh, the, the okay. so, no, nobody can, and then, they, it's it's a bogus thing. Or oh, you you should speak my my language. But they all come from that that one language. So so she a a, a, a Zulu can understand a a a, a, Lesotho, a Sotho, whatever they can have, because they come from the same root. It's it's like it's like the 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 Brazilians can understand the Spanish, but the Spanish that can't necessarily understand the mm -hmm. Brazilians. But it's all from you can it was just our romantic language is the same thing with the French and the and the, and the Italian mm -hmm. or sort of stuff. But the, let anyway, let me just get to this this other point. I mentioned Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. But in the house, we have we have the thing, and it, it goes like this: uh, uh, we are informed by the nutritional um, uh, protocol of uh, uh, Yaki Awakened. Okay, he's like the natural successor to like like Dr. Moore and Dr. Mm -hmm. Sabi. So so Yaki, he's he's that. That's our nutrition thing. Our um, our code, 
our principles of from Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Okay, those are the two things, and then I am merely the counselor. Or I forgot what I what I call, it, but I'm, I'm the guy. I'm, I'm guidance. So these are the three people that we're guiding about for this house is guided mm -hmm. by, right? So Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. talks about the code. My question to you is like you mentioned white supremacy. You mentioned all this stuff. I won't say what is the answer, but what should our behavior be? How do we actually uh, deal with this this thing that's been around for? Uh, I believe well, Gerald Horn says it was really codified or whatever in like what the uh, the 1600s, whatever, mm -hmm. where the the the, the, um, the 16th, 16th century, whatever he, you know from that that thing. You know, what should which which what's the path you, we should be on right now? Is my, well, I my think point. the first thing is acknowledging its existence. Mm -hmm. Because if not, all these things, negative things seem to be happening to black people or to people of color all over the world. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't realize that there, that, that there is an international philosophy of white supremacy and Eurocentric, you would understand why, once you understand it, you'd understand why were the major selling products all over the world. Mm -hmm. You're talking about China, not, well, not China as much as, say, Japan or Java or Indonesia mm -hmm. or Malaysia or the Philippines. One of the major and current, LNG, currently Vietnam is in in and out. Yeah, but I mean, one of the major products being sold is skin bleach. Oh, skin oh, 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 that's okay. Yeah, West Africa. Yes, yeah, yeah. Africa, West Africa too, but Africa mm. in particular, but but also all of Asia. Oh, that's, oh, why, and why I just heard Jamaica, Jamaica, is going whacked out crazy on this. You know, you know, it's so funny because that's probably a, um, mm -hmm. dance hall culture, but the problem is it's also poison. It's, yeah, killing, sure, it's, sure, it's, sure. it's killing your skin, it's killing, mm -hmm. bleaching the melanin out of your, out of your skin and making you prone to cancer and, mm -hmm. and prone to bleeding and skin breaks. Because they laughed about a boxer who did that to in Congo. Oh, yeah. And all you do is touch him and he cuts open. Because yeah. he's weakened his skin so much by doing that. But what's the, what's the driving philosophy that has people thinking being lighter is being better? Mm -hmm. You know, and once you realize that, that they exist, you don't have to fight it. You just can understand that the things that... Um, it, you do have to fight it, but you have to understand all the things that it produces all around you all the time. It's mm -hmm. not like we're failing. We're still in a system that's very strong. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm, again, I'm asking you, what is the path? What is, as they say, the way forward? <laughs> the, the, what is the bomb for this? You know, what, okay. what is it? Yeah. Well, I think what part of it, what you were talking about, too, and you were saying it as that uh, those slaves should go to the past, but we also have to return to values that we think are superior. Mm-hmm. You know, because we didn't see the values they offered us. And you, know, you know, like one of the reasons of the West superiority is because of their um, superiority in terms of weapon making. Of course, yeah. You know, yeah. but is that a positive thing for the planet? Yeah. You know, and so-called yeah. technology that destroys the environment, is that is that positive? Yeah. Now, a lot of people, you know, like you were talking about people who, who constantly refer to the ancient past and like um, ancient Egypt is our Greece. Yeah. You know, but Egypt might be where things went wrong. Mm. Egypt Ooh. might be where ideas got concretized, where ideas that were spiritual became monumental. So you end up with things that don't need, like the most successful people that lived in the environment are the so-called most primitive, the so-called people, the so-called Bushmen. Yeah, well, I, know, I, I call them primal. But primal. Yeah, the most primal people are the... Yeah, mm. but they're not destroying the environment they live in. Oh, and yeah. they can live without doing that. Mm. So when we see this technology that we all benefit from, and as, or as Karenga used to call it, comfort corrupt, we're all comfort, comfort corrupt. Comfort, that's the good. It's not about benefit. It's about the comfort. It's about right. like right right now. I just had sort of documentary. Mexico, they they're moving away from the from the from the whole uh, heroin marijuana mm. thing, and they're into like the fentanyl thing. It's easier for the pills, and it's easier for people to just pop a pill, mm -hmm. you know, than it's you know, whatever they're processing the cocaine with or whatever. Or it is, smoke you know. it or whatever yeah. yeah. So it's a, so look, uh, Danny Dawson, I want to spend a whole lot of time with you because, you know, we can talk forever and I can make you talk forever. You can make me talk forever, you know. I know. Uh, so, uh, I wish you had forewarned me what you were going to do. No, no. You know how I, you know how I roll. Well, Come I know, on. I no, know. you, I know. what? What, so you can break six? No. You know, here's the thing, man. I don't want to need No, listen, 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 here's the thing. The reason why I like to talk to you, the people of, of a certain strata, or people that I sort of know, is because when I talk to other people, they have... They're so media savvy that they they have their prepared things or whatever, mm -hmm. whatever. I was talking to this guy in South Africa, uh, and uh, and uh, his, and it was and I and I kept on breaking them down, breaking them down, and then finally I broke through. Right after several the, the, several the sessions, crust of professionalism. Yeah, that the crust of very good, and then he started understanding what I was doing, and they said. And he, he just relaxed. He, he understood. He said, "Oh, I understand your style. Okay, yeah, because I just yeah, have conversations." 
you know, one, one question leads to another question. Yes, it's, but it's, you still work in that kind of primal form of radio. Prim you, oh, right. here, oh, go down here. Go ahead. Go well, ahead. No, man, come no, ready no. for it, man. Go ahead. Come on. Come no, on. But you're right. I, I, that's what I do because I have been set up here, so I miss the radio. Mm. You know, so in this new environment. Well, you know, here's the, I've, I've had a very interesting thing that I've been doing, right? Because of, for course of the pandemic, you know, I've only been on YouTube mm -hmm. just for archival purposes only. Or I interview a lot. I don't have I don't have a lot of subscribers. There's not a lot of views because I'm looking at because I'm an archivist. I'm looking for the future. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for like a hundred years, two hundred years from now. Somebody's gonna look and say, "Hey, you know, I seen all these." Things. That that conversation he has with that cat there, that's more important than I than I read the book, the newspaper, whatever whatever account, right? So so what happened? So what happened was so my YouTube channel has developed like that. Got you know. Um, hundreds of uh, whatever it is uh, interviews with, with folks like you you know but what happened and it's really was just to get my own personal how do you say this um a memoir you know let's put it that way but then when the pandemic hit i got into instagram then i realized for instagram i'm doing the same thing however what i would my youtube channel what happens is my bit shoot i have a bit shoot account the bit shoot takes the youtube automatic so i have an archive to different places mm -hmm. so basically i did i started a uh, youtube for archival purposes but now i have i have instagram for instant archive but what i've been doing is i have behind the scenes so i i, I have another camera that i that i do for for to to when i'm setting up for my for my instagram and it's like behind the scenes i'm really relaxed whatever have you. and then i formally do the then i formally do the um the instagram but it's also recorded what i did on, mm -hmm. on the thing. So what happens is I still archive and I don't care what Instagram does with it if they're trying to control it yeah. because now I have, you see? But so you it's don't quite, use camera phones? I just use camera phones. Mm -hmm. But this, this particular, this, this is a, this is a, a OnePlus 7. The, 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 um, the quality of this camera is amazing. Is it Samsung? No, no, it's one plus called oh, one plus. Okay. Yeah, it's one plus. No, the camera is. I know you're a camera person. You're going to try to. That, that, no, you I, a, I don't know. I don't no, know. No, 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 no. I'm just trying to say you, you, you're a professional. I can't do that. But, but for instance, so this, this just has the best camera that I that I, for the month, whatever it is, for what I need. If you go to my YouTube channel, you see the, you see the quality. Mm -hmm. uh, not my YouTube, but but you see the quality. You know, we're gonna take. We'll take a, a, a selfie because I'm doing this wall. Um, with these images I call the African Hat series, right? So I'm taking selfies with this with this hat. You know, Jules mm -hmm. Allen, no, no, the photographer. No, he just just did a book called The Hats and the Hat Knots. The Hats and the Hats. <laughs> no, but he's talking about black style. He's talking about the uh -huh. importance of the hat and 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 um, for uh, African American males. Uh, oh, African males too. But you know, this is made by my wife, so this is mm -hmm. an African hat. And what I'm doing is taking these selfies and, and for the 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 the, the, uh, the Holte house. What we're doing is I'm gonna laminate these little things and put it on over like a mon montage mm -hmm. like that. So they'll see pictures from people from all over the all different faces from all over the world like that, right? So anyway, so so anyway, every, everything is everything is going swimmingly well. I feel very good. And and uh, what, what's happening really is uh, there's certain revelations what I've had. No, 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 my we have no, 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 no. Too old for that. My wife has her child. We, you know, this, no, no, no. We're, we're, we're fine. No. You introduce them to this world. No, 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 no. no. Everybody to wants to come over to America, and they have no idea you know, that that. Look. Well, uh, we, we, if you live elsewhere, elsewhere, and all you get is propagandized. Mm. You see, would you know that people lie like they do here? You don't, you don't oh, yeah, believe oh, yeah, it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And your own government reinforces it. Your yeah. own government is coming in. You, know. you know, I just heard, was it the, the Ghanaian or the Uganda? I think it was the Ghanaian prime, uh, guy, you know. Mm -hmm. He just basically said, uh, like all these guys said, you know, Africa's open up for business, whatever, and they yeah. mean like that. And I'm going looking like, you don't understand. It was Ghanaian. You don't understand. You could be open for business, but you what you're saying is you want the big guy so that you can get your little payoff. What you should be doing is is getting a visa for 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 the for all the diaspora Africans and go and do small businesses. Just we could do small business or leave them big people do let's call it primal businesses like that because it's if I I can take a hundred dollars and help this goat herder over there. And get my return and help that person at the same time. That's small business, you mm -hmm. see, that kind of thing. But they don't think like that because they're they they're, they're Westernized. They're they're, they're screened. They're, 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 they accept that kind of strategy. Too. They accept that system because it's going to make them wealthy. They think. And you know, the the, the, the for me, the insults, the visuals is a lot. You know, you're a photographer like that. So when he's up there in front of the UN, 
with his Western suit on, I'm going like, ah, you, you done lost me already. I saw him, I saw him. Yeah. Oh, man. So well, then... Man, it's it's a, really funny because what, you, what we're talking about, and we critique him one way, but other people were talking about how severe he was on the West. Oh, yeah, this, those are words. You know, he, he mm -hmm. put up Nkrumba and all that stuff, stuff. That's fine, that's fine, but... Yeah, but you're also arguing with the people who killed Nkrumba. That. And, 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 and again, you... It's in a certain way, you're 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 in their what I call backwash. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. You keep on uh, talking about what they did, so you're in their backwash. I'm trying to say, look, just completely ignore it. What is your program? Mm -hmm. now, I look at myself, like for instance, uh, mm -hmm. like for instance, like uh, on my on my um, maternal side, uh, my my great grandfather is Gullah Geechee, right? My great grandmother is is um is Mohawk, right? Mm -hmm. So now, if I'm over in, wherever I am, I could say I'm a spy, right? But that would be the Western way. I'm not a spy. I'm a scout. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Right, right. Because a spy comes back and they tell the people what they want to hear or some massage and thing. A scout just comes back and say, hey, here's what I saw. Da, da, da. Okay, you got it? Got to go. It goes back out the scout. You see? And that's different than being a spy. I know. And people don't understand. They, that's what I'm trying to say. These, these fine de delineations. In fact, I look at what I'm, even what I'm doing in South Africa as I'm creating what we call elite forces. You know? Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I'm, I'm, with, you know, because I'm not saying that, that you, you don't have the, the main force, the fodder, you know, and you don't have the, whatever. The, yeah, but the, also it's whatever. funny, though, because spies are inherently corrupt. That's what I'm saying. You know, that's what I'm saying. You talk about the spies, and they turn out they're spies for both sides. That, you that, know, yeah, so. you can be like that. That's, that's it. But it's, it's, look, the plans are being, plans are plans, and, and you have to have the, the correct plan. Well, that's you also have to realize that there's one thing going on in the planet in terms of forces. You know, and Robin Kelly used to talk about that all the time. He said, who benefits? That's it. You know, but, but also, that every time you have a project coming out of the United States, it's about how to get the resources from somewhere else. It's, it's always never a about helping anybody. It's about getting their, their resources. It's a land grant plan. But there's a lot, there's a whole other, like I said, a lot of young people I work with, they, they have this understanding. You know, they really do have this understanding. So if you hear these these um, <laughs> these uh, leaders, whatever whatever they're going to call them, speaking, but they're not with that. I mean, people are listening to PLO Lumumba. You know, they listen to people like that. Mm -hmm. If they don't listen to anybody, they're not listening to these politicians and stuff like that. Well, they shouldn't be. Yeah, that's true. Okay, like I said, we'll, we'll both be out of breath because I'll keep on going. You know what I mean? I'm, 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 <laughs> thank you so sure, much, you're man. Welcome, you're welcome. All right, now.